Hey there, it's Scratch here, and today we're diving into a question that's been on the minds of many aspiring hackers. Do you need to learn programming for hacking? It's a fascinating topic, so stick around to get all the answers. And hey, if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on our tech content. Now, let's get into it. First off, let's get our term straight. Hacking, in this context, is all about ethical hacking which means using your skills to find and fix security holes in systems and networks. Programming, on the other hand, is writing and working with code. Got it? Great, let's move on. So why should you consider learning programming when you want to be an ethical hacker? Well, there are some pretty cool reasons. Understanding vulnerabilities. Programming knowledge allows you to understand software and systems deeply, which is crucial for identifying vulnerabilities. Knowing how code works gives you insights into where it might break. Custom tools. Programmers can create custom tools and scripts to automate tasks, making the hacking process more efficient. This is especially useful when dealing with repetitive tasks. Bug hunting. Programming skills are invaluable for bug hunting and exploiting vulnerabilities responsibly. You can analyze code, spot weaknesses, and even develop your own exploits when necessary. But hold on. There are challenges too. Steep learning curve. Learning to program can be challenging and it can take a significant amount of time to become proficient. This might deter some from pursuing ethical hacking. Legal and ethical concerns. With great power comes great responsibility. Having the ability to write code means you could potentially cross ethical and legal boundaries if not used responsibly. So here's the deal. You don't have to be a coding genius to be a hacker. There are other ways in. Teamwork. Ethical hacking often involves working with diverse teams. You can collaborate with programmers who bring their coding expertise to the table while you focus on other aspects of security testing. Offensive versus Defensive. Ethical hacking encompasses both offensive and defensive roles. Not all ethical hackers need to be offensive hackers who write exploits. Defensive hackers, or blue team members, focus on securing systems and networks. In conclusion, coding skill is not necessary for ethical hacking. Coding skills are like a secret weapon in the hacking world. They're super useful, but they're not the only way to join the party. Your passion, determination, and commitment to doing things the right way matter just as much. Whether you decide to learn to code or not, remember that ethical hackers are like digital superheroes, keeping us all safe from online bad guys. So, Keep that enthusiasm burning. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe for more content on cybersecurity and technology. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Stay curious and stay ethical in your hacking adventures. Goodbye for now.